Hello. Um, you've reached the office of Sean O'Carroll. Sorry I couldn't answer your call. For the time being, I'm um, out of my office, so... Please leave a message and I'll try to get back to you when I return. Thank you. Cheers. It's not Sean O'Carroll, is it? Patrick. It's... it's been too long. It has. It really has. How long's it been? It's got to be over 20 years. 20 years? My, how time flies. Why don't you come up for a drink? Uh... I, I shouldn't. Oh, come on. It'll give us a chance to catch up. I should look at It's good to have you back, lad. I came straight here. So you haven't been home then? No. No, I am. Uh, I, I won't stop here. So what are you here for then? Um, uh, I'm writing a new play. A play? How wonderful. How's that been treating you? Yeah, pretty good. I've had a couple of plays produced here and there. Well, but I'm ready to move on to the next one. I'm looking for inspiration. That's why I'm back here. I remember this spot being a good one. People know my nostalgia play. Oh, well, that's wonderful. I'm so glad you found something that you love to do. Sean O'Carroll! Oh, it is! Oh, isn't that a treat, Patrick? Oh, it is. He was just telling me Ooh. he's here because he's writing a new play. Oh, play, isn't that fancy? And how is the business treating you then? <laughs> yeah, pretty well. He's looking for inspiration for his next play. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I remember back when you were little, when you first said you wanted to be a playwright, you were so cute. Yeah, I was 16. Of course, but look at you now, you're a real playwright. <laughs> what have you written? Oh, uh, just a, a couple of things. I'm sure you've not heard of any of them. Probably not. Not unless it was done here. I, the people in this town, us included, are not very au fait with what happens mm. anywhere else in the world. <laughs> well, maybe I should get one of my plays performed here. Maybe you could debut it here. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it, Patrick? It would, especially since your inspiration is from here. Oh, and if it's a play about this town, well, everyone is going to want to see it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know what I want to do yet. You'll still debut it here, though, won't you? Y yeah, perhaps. Well, I hope you do. Wait, have you not spoken to your brother since you've been here? No. Well, have you been home? No, I, I, I'm not home. When was the last time you spoke to your brother? It's been a few oh, years. God. I really think you ought to go and speak to your brother. Poppy, he doesn't want to hear any of that. Let him enjoy his time while he's back. Oh, it's wrong call.
like it. Well, thank you, darling. Don't they need you down there today? No, not today. It's a slow day. You are going out though, right? Maybe. The lads are all at work today. I might go out later. So you're home all day? Like I said, I might go out once the lads are back. Well, if you could find out, that would be useful. Why do you need to know? He might have the girls over. Oh, the girls. I suppose you don't want me around with the girls around. He didn't say that. It was implied. How was it implied? Do you want me in the house or no? Well... See, you don't want me around with the girls around. Like I said, what would I do? You didn't let me finish. So finish. See? Someone's at the door. Oh, is that what that means, is it? Well, just go and answer it, would you? Fine. Sucky bastard. Jeez. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, I was in town and people said I should come over, so here I am. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Where is it? Sean! Sean, your brother Sean, or Sean, the one who got busted breaking the church. Where else, Sean? Sean, me brother Sean. We let him in. Would you like to come in, Sean? There's not too much trouble. No. No trouble at all. Come on. Cheers. Would you like a cup of tea, Sean? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. I'll fetch you a tea. Sean, it's uh, good to see you. Yeah. Why don't you take a seat? Up then. Uh, yeah. So, Sean, what brings you back to town? I'm writing a play. Oh. What's that got to do with you coming back here? Sorry? What's writing a play got to do with you coming back here? Uh, people have a nostalgia play. Still here? You're not thinking right. Uh, well, so far I haven't thought of anything, so maybe you're right. When did you get back? About an hour ago. When you've been standing outside for an hour or something? No, I hadn't planned on coming here. I went to the theatre. <laughs> the old place. Is the old half Patrick Coleman still running the place? Uh, he's not that old. He's ancient. He's in his 60s. Yeah, ancient. Well, shall I leave you when you turn 60? I don't fancy the sound of being married to an ancient man. Well, boy, then, now, you'd be ancient too, wouldn't you? He's not ancient. Yeah, fine. So why did you come here? People kept telling me to. Why? I don't know. You're all right, aren't you? I'm all right. Sheila's all right. We're all all right. What about Ma? Oh, come did you not tell him? Tell me what? Look, I was going to get around to it. Tell me what? A fat lot of good getting around to it's done. Tell me what? Sean, your mum, she passed away. <laughs> she what? She died. 80. Now that's ancient. Come. When? When did she die? Well, um... A year ago. Maybe two. You didn't call. I was going to get around to it. But you didn't? No, but like I said, I, I was going to get around to it. When? When were you finally going to get around to it? I can't be here. Come here. 
know it's a bad idea. This is a terrible idea. Sean, wait! Great job, Colm. Great fucking job. Sean! Sean! Sean, can you stop? Come off it, Sheena, I'm going. You just got here. I don't want to see him again, so I'm leaving. Stay a little bit. You've still got your plate all right. You think I can think of something here? Well, I do. Calm doesn't think so. Why don't you stay and prove him wrong? I was never very good at saying no to you, was I? No, you weren't. <laughs> no luck with your writing? No, not yet. Oh, shame. I don't suppose you want to stick around here forever, do you? No, not really. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, you can quiet this place down a bit. Well, Sean, it's a public place. We don't close for ages yet. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Sorry, Bobby. Um, uh, can I just get on with the writing? Please. Well, suit yourself. I was only trying to help. What are you doing? Uh, sorry? What are you doing? Are you a banker or something? No. Then what are you? Because I can't think of anyone else who'd have to work the paper. How about a lawyer? I suppose they do too. So, are you a lawyer? No. So you're not a banker and you're not a lawyer. So, what are you? I'm a playwright. Are you now? That sounds interesting. What do they do? Write. Write what? Plays. Oh. Right. Is that it? What do you mean, is that it? You just write plays and the like. Yeah. Sounds a bit boring. <laughs> well, it's um, trying to find a way of telling a story in an interesting way. In this case, I'm trying to tell a story for the stage. Oh, OK. You going to find a theatre then? This is a theatre. Yeah. Is it? I only come up to the bar. I had no idea what any of the rest of this crap was. The young mind baffles me. Thank you. Who are you then? Sorry? Are you famous? No. No, not, not really, no. It's just, I've never seen you around here before. Thought you might be some famous person visiting. Afraid not, no. So, who are you? Sean O'Cow. O'Carroll. Like Mrs. O'Carroll. Sheila. No. The old one that passed away not too long ago. She was my mother. Oh. I'm sorry. How do you know? I knew her quite well, actually. I worked at the shop down the road from where she lived. She was a very nice old lady. Yeah. Yeah, she was. It was a shame when she died. I felt like I lost a friend. I quit working at the shop after that. Sorry for your loss. Cheers. Harvey lad, what are you doing here? I have every right to be here now. I'm old enough. Get lost, would you? Fine. But I'll be back again next week. And I'll send you on your way again next week. He wasn't bothering you now, was he? No, no, he was fine. So you've got something written, have you? Oh, yeah, no. Let's get to it then. Thank you, Patrick. If you need any help, I'll be at the bar. Sean? Toilet.
Knock, knock. Shayna? Can I come in? Sister Jess? Anyone in here? It's just us. What are you doing here? I just thought I'd come to see how you were. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. How's the play? Yeah, working on it. I can't wait to see it. I always like to see what you can do. Better get back to it. Aye. I only came to see how you were. I'll be off. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. Combs says he's sorry. Does he? He does. Good for him. It's good you could get out tonight, Calm. The boys and I was wondering where you got off to. Aye. Well, my brother came back, didn't he? Found out about the mum. Oh, he's back in town, is he? Aye. He had a goal being everything. It's an old thing. I don't get what the fuss is about. People die all the time. It's not like he was even there for mum. I was. I was the one by her side. He was off chasing his dreams in the cities. You ever want some sense put in the boy? Then we'll turn tail and run before you know it. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, Richie. I'll be alright. He's still my brother. Yeah. What will it be, gentlemen? A couple of points. You want a point, right, Carl? Ah, yeah, you do. A couple of points, please, Patrick. Come in, right, Carl. Can't believe it. What's that? He didn't tell him. He didn't tell him his mother had died. It's none of our business. No matter how wrong it is, it's between two brothers, not us. Hello, look who we have here. Please, Richie, not today. I told you I wanted my money, boy. Come on, lad. Just pay up and I'll leave you alone. I don't have your money. Then we have a problem. I can't pay you. Can you just leave it? I don't think I can. If you can't pay me, there has to be repercussions. Richie, if you're trying to start something, you can do it elsewhere. This is a public place and a respectable one. And I won't have you reckon it up. I'm not trying to start something. I just want what I'm owed. Leave it, Let's go. Fine. Sean. Okay. I'm fine. Sean, he was threatening the poor boy. And they were both talking smack about you. Colin can do what he wants. I don't have anything to do with him. Oh, he's been troubling since the day he was born. Why? Right. Hey, got a couple of undrunk pints over there. Do you fancy him, boys? Go on then. John, sit for a while, have a drink? Uh, yeah, go on. We'll have a couple of lemonades, please. Come and write up, boys. <sighs> is that the plan? It is. And it's done? Yeah. You put tickets on here, are you? I think I might. You're going to need some actors. Yeah. <laughs> what about me? You. I? I'm well good I am. Or at least I think I am. I've never done anything proper. So? You got a rather could do someone like me? Get in. So I got the part. Well, I don't see anyone else here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Is that the play? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, is it finished? Yeah, um, yeah, just finished, yeah. I think I might celebrate. 
You're damn right we're celebrating. It's gonna be a good fucking show. <laughs> you and language! What would your mother say? Aye. But she's not here, is she? <laughs> well, I say cheers. Cheers! cheers. That'll be nice. Yeah. It's a one night only thing, you know. And then I have to go home. It's a sort of trial run, if that makes sense. I understand. Yeah. What's he doing here? Colin. Look, I said. What are you doing here? He came to see you. Ah, uh, look, can I have a word? Go on then. Have a word. I'm not sure it's Sheila should be here. I'd like to stay, thank you very much. Well, she'd like to stay, thank you very much. Then she can stay. Thank you. Go on then. What is it you got to say? You didn't call me for two years. But I've been away for longer. I understand why you did it. Oh yeah? Why's that? Doesn't matter. Look, um, I wanted to invite you to the theatre. One night only. Just, I want you to come along so we can make amends. Do you know why? Do you know why I didn't call you on my day? Do you want to know? Go on, go on, I'll tell you. I looked after her for all those years while you were off following your dreams. But I heard what you'd done. Most people around here, they don't know just how badly you fucked yourself. But I do. Yeah, I know, because I followed everything, because I care. I care about my brother. Now you've come back here for what, didn't you? You're looking for a way back into your world, are you? Are you? <sighs> Sean. Do you really think I'd let someone like you get what you want? You don't know a single thing about what I've done. Because if you did, You'd run away like the coward you are. You're going to kill yourself! I don't fucking care. He's gone. What was that, Colin? Why do you fucking care? Because I love him. I always have. You know it, I know it. But he left and well... You're the next best thing. I want you out of my mother's house. Gladly. Big crowd. Told you it would draw attention from the whole town. Shame is just for the one night though. Yeah, but it's just a trial run. Besides, I have to get back home. 
Just remember where your real home is. There it goes. Excuse me. Yeah. You came. I couldn't miss it. No, Colm. I'm done with Colm. You are? Can we talk? I don't love Colm. Maybe I did at one point, but not anymore. I see. Can I ask you something? Depends what I need. All those years ago when we were working together. Did you... Did you ever catch feelings for me? It's a loaded question, Sheila. I don't know if I can... I did. I never wanted to be a playwright. Not as much as you. I just... I just wanted to be with you. And when we stopped working, well... I didn't want to stand in the way of your dreams. What did you say? Well, what was I supposed to say? So how did you end up with Colin, of all people? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was there when you were gone. Well, so was your mother. We were really close. guys just told me that Harvey hasn't gotten here yet. Oh, where is he? Well, they don't know. Just hold up the performance, I'll go see that. Okay. I told you enough times, lad. Richie, please, I've got to be somewhere. I don't care. Hand over me money or I'll beat it out of you. Richie! Sean sure O'Carroll, this doesn't involve you. Uh, I think it does. Sean, please. It's fine. It's not fine, Harvey. Look, he's got to be on stage in five minutes or I'm pure fucked. And he's pure fucked. And you're both going to be pure fucked if you leave now. Harvey, go. That was a mistake, Sean. Was it? If he isn't going to pay, you are. You get that? So give me what you got. I'm not scared of you. You should be, you can't. Sean? Colin? Sorry about that. No, it's, it's fine. Is there any space left for your show? No, I don't think so. It's a shame. I'd like to have seen that. Yeah. Yeah, so would I. So what are we going to do about this? I don't know. There's two things we can do. Depends if we forgive each other or not. Yeah, suppose you're right. <laughs> 